If you saw my last video, you know what we uncovered. A 2025 study linked to six common muscle building supplements to real mental health symptoms in young people. And this video is part two, how to reset and recover. So today we're breaking down what actually happens when your brain crashes after stepping away from stimulants. And more importantly, what you can do either to try and balance yourself while taking these supplements or recover and feel like yourself again after removing them. So if you've ever quit a supplement and felt like your motivation disappeared, your emotions went flat, or your body just didn't feel like yours anymore, this video is about getting your mind and self back. Because when you stop taking something, whether it's a fat burner or pre-workout or even a so-called natural nootropic, and suddenly nothing feels right anymore, that doesn't just feel like a crash. It feels like identity loss, walking around like a shell of yourself, emotions off, energy drained, just wanting to feel normal again. So if you guys are ready, let's get into this. I've taken so many gym supplements, it's not even funny. And when it comes to some of these pre-workouts, fat burners, nootropics, and even adaptogens, things can really play a number on your biology. When you take a supplement that stimulates your brain, whether that's caffeine, DMHA, macuna, or even high dosages of ashwagandha, or even lion's mane, you're not just adding energy, you're manipulating your neurochemistry. Some of these ingredients flood your brain with dopamine. Others, they blunt cortisol, spike epinephrine, block receptors, or increase serotonin. Some even interfere with how you process fear and motivation. So when you step away from them, you don't just go back to baseline. You dip below it. That feeling of flatness, lack of motivation, anxiety, emotional numbness, AKA anhedonia, that's your brain trying to find balance again. I felt that off balance feeling myself. It can be unsettling depending on how long it lasts, but it's fixable. And here's the thing, for many people, this isn't just a mood swing, it's an identity shift. These compounds can build a version of yourself that feels on all the time. And when it fades, you can feel off. Now, there are three stages to reset and rebuild. Stage one is remove and recalibrate. This is usually the first 10 days. This part isn't just for quitting, it's for rebalancing. Whether you're cycling off or you're still using a certain supplement, the goal here is to give your brain space to settle. Adjust your stack with intention. If you're on high dose stimulants, tapering off may be the easiest shift. For mild over-the-counter supplements like caffeine, you can step back fast, but definitely expect a few foggy days. Second, hydrate like it's therapy. Most stimulants are diuretics. Dehydration will amplify brain fog and increase fatigue. So start your day with a tall glass of water and maybe add some electrolytes, especially if you've been training. Third, this is one of the most important ones. Keep your rituals. Change the inputs. Your brain often craves the routine, not just a chemical. So swap your pre-workout with an electrolyte mix. Trade morning coffee with lemon water or a calming tea. And keep the time slot, but change the content. Let your brain stay in rhythm, but feed it something that nourishes it, not stimulates it. Whether it's hydration, breath work, or simply sitting in the same space without the usual rush, the routine should stay the same, but the fuel should shift. And the fourth in this stage, track emotional shifts. You might feel foggy, detached, or irritable. That's not a setback. It's your chemistry rebalancing. Journal it. When you log your mood and your symptoms, you start to see patterns, like when the fog lifts or energy returns. That awareness helps remind you that these shifts are temporary and that you're gradually getting back to baseline. And natural stimulation, this is a secret weapon. Sunlight exposure first thing in the morning can reset your circadian rhythm and boost serotonin. You can do this with brisk walking. This stimulates blood flow and supports energy and cognitive clarity. And then there's music. When chosen intentionally, something that makes you feel inspired and connected or alive, it can help spark emotional movement in a way that's neurologically grounding. Even a quick check-in with someone, a friend, a coach, or a loved one, helps anchor you to the present time. This keeps you from getting lonely. Social connection supports that emotional regulation, reduces stress, and reminds your brain it's safe to reset. Now, know your why. Whether you're scaling back or staying in the game, clarity is key. Write your reason down, put it where your shaker used to be, your gym bag, buy your workout shoes, you're not quitting energy, you're rebuilding it in a more sustainable way. Stage two, rebuilding neurochemistry. This usually happens within the 10 and 30 days. This part is for everyone, whether you've stepped away from your stack or you're staying on for a while to just rebalance yourself. The gold, rebuild dopamine balance, strengthen internal energy. In this case, you're gonna wanna stick with light cardio, like brisk walking, cycling, or low intensity circuits, instead of jumping into high intensity training. 
This gives your nervous system time to stabilize while you're still moving your body and supporting that natural dopamine production. If you've already started adjusting your stack or are just trying to recalibrate your energy naturally, this is where consistent cues from your environment matter. Early day light exposure is important, even through the window or while stretching. This can support your circadian rhythm and your mental clarity. It's less about getting outside again and more about reinforcing rhythm with simple natural anchors during this sensitive transitional phase. Next is nutritional support. Right here, you want to focus on tyrosine-rich foods, eggs, chicken, and yogurt. Magnesium-rich foods like leafy greens, pumpkin seeds, and maybe some dark chocolate. Then we got green tea or maca, which contains L-theanine for a calm focus to keep you in balance. Then you want to focus on fatty fish because of the omega-3s. This is going to help with inflammation. And track how you feel. If you're still supplementing, note how you feel with it or without it. Listen to your energy, your focus, and emotions because your body gives you feedback. If something isn't working, reduce, pause, or swap it. And again, this doesn't mean you have to quit everything. It's about tuning in, giving your body room to adapt, even while you're still using the tools. Now on to stage three, reclaim your mind. This is where things click. You get your motivation and your internal clarity back again. Now you want to ease back into lifting if you paused. I know most of you haven't, but it's all good. Be more intentional with your digital environment. Limit sources of consistent novelty or emotional stimulation. You want to settle your brain into a calmer rhythm. And this means don't just randomly scroll day in and day out for hours on TikTok or Instagram. Step away for a while. If you're reintroducing caffeine, do it mindfully. Because whether you kind of cut it out completely or you didn't, you want to be able to manage the amount of caffeine and not just jump right back into it. Get out and walk. Walk with a purpose. Even short walks can act as active mindfulness, helping ground you into a present and reset your mindset. Uh, then you got meditation. You can do breath work or you can meditate. This is like two minutes of work. If you really kind of Google it, you'll find a lot of people showing you how to do this. Listen to music that energizes you without overstimulation. So find a balance between that music you listen to in the gym and that music that just makes you feel good. Learn something new with binge content. So if you are going to scroll, if you're going to come back onto YouTube like you are right now, make sure it's beneficial content for you. Don't do binge content. Learn something new. Journal both what you eat and how you feel. Not just macros, but mindset and mood, as well as motivation. This helps connect your physical inputs to your emotional patterns and gives you a clearer picture of what's working and what's not. Many people report feeling stronger, calmer, and more focused than before they ever started relying on these compounds. Why? Because now the baseline is real. It's not artificial. It's not propped up. And for those that want to supplement, here's a few rebuild and reset stacks. We have a nighttime stack, magnesium glycinate, 200 to 400 milligrams, apigenin, 50 milligrams, uridine, 250 milligrams, and L-theanine, 50 milligrams. If you want to support dopamine in the morning, here's a stack for you. L-tyrosine, 500 to 1,000 milligrams. Omega-3s, you want 1 to 2 grams. Vitamin D3, 2,000 to 4,000 IU. And then for a mood and focus support stack, rhodiola rosea, 150 to 200 milligrams, short-term only. I do four weeks on with a week or two off on that. B-complex, a methylated B-complex. Then we have some holy basil at 300 to 600 milligrams, 2%. Um, your solic acid, I think is what it's called. And always consult your doctor, especially if you're on medication when taking these supplements. So now let's do a quick recap. We got 10 to 15 minutes of natural light exposure every day within 30 minutes of awakening. This is gonna support circadian rhythm and morning alertness. You wanna move daily with short walks, low stress workouts. These help regulate your nervous system and stay socially connected. One meaningful conversation per week can shift your emotional baseline. Reduced background noise helps. Replace passive scrolling with something purposeful, reading, journaling, or skill building. These aren't just good habits. They're the groundwork for long-term balance in life. And finally, if you haven't seen the six muscle building supplements that could be harming you, check it out here. This is Dave. Stay strong, stay healthy, be informed, and not influenced. I'll see you guys next time.